We got our windows down, driving down the 405, sing along to the radio. Hey guys, and welcome to summer 2022, my first porch decorate with me of the season, and I cannot wait to get into this video. I also decided to do a fun summer cook with me recipe you guys are absolutely going to love. If you're new here, my name is Laura Nicholson, and I love to do all things cooking, cleaning, and home decorating, and I would love it if you would pause this video right now and subscribe. If you've been on my channel for a while, definitely check to see if you're subscribed down below because we have so much coming up for the rest of the year. You guys know that I love fall, Halloween, Christmas. Christmas decorating all the seasons and traditions. So definitely stick around because there'll be a lot more coming up this year. Okay, guys, let's jump into today's video. Okay, guys, so today we are going to clean the porch. I need to get some cobwebs out of the corners. They're not too bad. I just want to clean everything up and then and then we are going to take all this stuff down I had from spring and kind of give the porch a really cute vibe for summertime I think would be fun I haven't gotten any plants to do some planting but I really want to so we might actually do that today as well but I thought I'd take you guys on my first porch decorate with me in a really long time and let me tell you we got Lots of messiness to clean up today. I'm gonna quit my job. Never wanna have no boss. I just wanna play my rock and roll like they do on the radio. Tommy's got brand new. So to get started, I want to wipe everything down. There is so much dust in this area of our house. Our porch is kind of like our home base all summer. We basically take our living room and put everything on the porch and hang out there all summer long. So I definitely want to get things clean. We try to keep this area pretty clean. Once a month, I'll come out here and try to get cobwebs or my husband will pressure wash and clean everything. So it's not terrible, but it definitely, definitely needs a little bit of attention. We've also had a lot of wind here recently. My allergies have been crazy this year. I didn't even realize that I had allergies. Allergies. I thought I had a cold for like a week, but turns out just allergies, which is fine because soon it will be nice and warm and the allergies will be gone. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clean all this up and get everything ready to decorate. Tell me in the comments down below, what is your favorite part about summer? I love barbecuing. I love sitting on the porch, listening to music. We have two speakers out here. So we turn on usually country music or just something fun, whatever the kids are in the mood for. And we hang out here all night long, sometimes till 10 o'clock at night. We'll play dominoes, cards, laugh, just hang out. It's such an awesome place to be. But tell us in the comments down below, what is the one thing you are most looking forward to this summer? If you guys are interested, I will link this multi-attachment kind of extendable cleaner down below. I found it on Amazon. This is like the third one I've had and this one's amazing. I wanted to show you guys Ellie's scratch marks are still there. If you're new to my channel, we had a Rhodesian Ridge back and she passed away right um, around February 2020 and um, she was 15 and we just miss her and she used to always scratch at the door and I can't bring myself to paint over them. But we're going to shine them up today with a little bit of cleaner and get this front porch nice and cleaned. I didn't realize how much dust was up here. I don't know if you guys remember last year when I did my porch decorate with me, I vacuumed out here. This year, way, way more dust and leaves and things. So I think I'm just going to slowly sweep everything off and get it cleaned that way. Me by the night we keep on 
I'd love to know in the comments down below where you live and what the weather's like right now. I live in Northern California in wine country, and this particular day it was about 95 outside. We've had these really strange pockets of weather. We've had 60 degree weather for four days, and then 95 degree weather for four days. Then it had we had a crazy rain and snowstorm literally the day after it was like 85 degrees outside. It was the most random thing. And it's just been very all over the place. And then lots of windy days and then just like stifling hot days. But tell us in the comments down below kind of what part of the country you live in or the world and what is the weather like where you are. I noticed that our chairs and tables had a lot of dust on them. Typically, you guys know I love taking care of our things, so I always try to wipe these down at least twice a month, but it just had a lot more than typical, so I'm gonna give it a really good wipe down, clean everything, and then get the table cleaned as well. What kind of seating arrangements do you guys have on your porch? We've had these rocking chairs I got from overstock.com um, in 2017, and they are still so strong and in great condition. I also do keep everything at our house really clean. I always like to take care of our things. I don't like buying things and then not treating them properly and then realizing like a year later I've got to buy another one because things are falling apart. Um, I've, it probably comes from my childhood that I'm like that, but I always like to really take good care of everything we have and kind of respect our belongings. So they tend to last longer, but what kind of seating arrangements do you guys have on your porch? Do you guys have rocking chairs, swings, um, or do you have like a different seating area um, if you do have a porch? I'd love to know. I'm kind of thinking about changing this up we've had these rocking chairs for such a long time i was thinking of putting them in the backyard but they just seem so traditional and quintessential victorian to have you know two rocking chairs out here but tell us what you've got down in the comments below So now that we're kind of getting everything nice and clean, I'm just gonna finish dusting this window. I totally forgot to clean it, and I thought I would get that done and then go over and clean the front door as well. I always find that the front door gets little cute kids' fingerprints all over it and their little faces on it, and I just love that, but I also do need to keep it clean. So I wanna get all of that done, and then we're gonna start decorating. Since it is Memorial Day weekend, I decided to do a kind of a tribute to um, all the people who have served for our country, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to decorate the porch just to say thank you as well as we have um, a concert here in our town called bottle rock which is um, I don't know it's like a four three day kind of music festival it's really fun there's lots of different people who play in it and um, our house is really close to where that happens so lots of people walk by so I thought it'd be kind of fun to set the summer tone and just make it really beautiful for all the people who will be visiting our community as well as kind of just say thank you to all the men and women who have served for our country To get started, I'm gonna be putting on these really beautiful banners I picked up from Amazon. I will link them down below. I used them last year as well, I think for 4th of July, but I can't remember. I'll link all my other kind of summertime porch decorate with me's if you guys are looking for further inspiration. Um, I will have those down below as well. But I wanna put these just to kind of frame the door and kind of create a really sweet feeling of a patriotic summertime 
um, look for the porch. And then I'm going to be using some different, like there are these little fans I picked up again from last year. I'm still using last year's decor as well. And then this really beautiful banner I found at Michael's that has like really cute, dainty flags that will kind of drape over the top. I love how these turn out. I think they are the most beautiful but simple decorations. They look like a celebration in their own. But I'd love to know what is your go-to decoration for the summer? Do you guys do kind of red, white, and blue? Do you guys do um, kind of like a red and white gingham or plaid? Do you stick to like flowers, more florals, and lemons? I don't know. I'm just kind of curious what everybody does. I try to go with the seasons. You guys know I really love traditions and I really love traditional seasons. So this weekend being Memorial Day weekend um, and kind of welcoming summer, I thought this would be the perfect kind of look to, you know, just have on the porch and throughout the house. I haven't done a summer decorate with me in the house yet, but I definitely have it on my list of things to do. But I'd love to know what is your go-to? What are the decor pieces that really bring the season of summer into your house? I decided to use last year's pillows. I love these. I found them at Michael's, or no, I found them at Home Goods. And then these little lumbar pillows I got at the dollar spot at Target. I think they were $3 or $5, but I just thought that would be a cute touch for the red and then throw a cute little star in the corner. I found this interchangeable kind of reversible rug at Target. It was $10 and I thought it would be cute to put a really nice rug on top. I will show you. I got two choices. You guys let me know what you like more down below. I also have these urns. I decided to add some blue and white hydrangeas too, just to bring some light and brightness and kind of a floral pop to the porch, but I love how that turns out. So the first rug I got was this blue one. I thought it'd be kind of fun since there seems to be a lot of red to add this, you know, you have the stripes in the back, star on top and then I found another one that was just kind of a little more of a lighter tone that says together we sparkle you will have to let us know in the comments down below which one you preferred to line the walkway I decided to add some flags that we had from last year just to kind of frame the space and just give it a real kind of fun pop for summertime he promised we would find the time So here is how everything turned out. I love how kind of patriotic and almost presidential the porch turned out. A little more than I was going for, but nonetheless, I think it's beautiful. And I kept everything really simple. We were going to play dominoes this night. So I kept the table clear, ready to go for when my husband got home from work. And I didn't add any blankets just because it's so hot here. I wanted to keep things nice and simple. Plus it's windy and you know, there's all that dust. So I just kept the pillows out, no blankets, and then added 
a little touch of florals to this space. I've since planted these. I needed one more. Once I got them in, I realized I definitely needed one. And we went with the Together We Sparkled. What the kids said they loved the most, so I went with it. I ended up putting the star one on the back porch, and it kind of brought a really cute touch into the house as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about today's porch decorate with me, and let's jump into the kitchen and get cooking. So tonight's recipe is a very simple summer basil and corn um, pasta. I'm using ravioli with this pasta. It's very easy to make. In the summertime, I love making this recipe with fresh corn, but we obviously don't have corn yet. It's May. So I'm going to be using canned corn. You can really use anything, but I think it's always better to have a nice fresh um, vegetables. And um, since we don't have that, we're just going to improvise tonight. But the first thing you want to do is chop up a bunch of cherry tomatoes. I'm also going to be using lemon and then some thyme. I already have my corn cleaned and ready to go. On the stove, in a pan, we're going to heat up a little olive oil, get our pot boiling for our raviolis, and start cooking down the corn. I decided to improvise in this recipe today and add a little bit of some garlic and tomatoes, which I think is going to be delicious. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I will put a link above so you guys can definitely join me there. I share day to day cooking pretty much every single day, and you've already seen this recipe. But while the corn's cooking, I'm going to start to cook down the tomatoes. I'm going to be using some garlic and just kind of let that stew down. You don't want too much of the juice to cook out because it will keep it nice and moist, but we'll let that cook on the back burner for a little bit. For the corn, I like to add about four little tablespoons of butter. That's going to give it a nice fatty coating to it, and it's also going to help cook down the fresh thyme. I'm going to let that kind of stew together, and then once the thyme is fragrant, I'm going to add about one-fourth cup of Sauvignon Blanc wine and a little bit of fresh lemon juice. I like to add a little lemon juice, taste test, don't forget to smell because this sauce is so good but if it needs a little bit more acidity go ahead and add a little bit more lemon in a boiling pot of water I'm gonna be cooking down some really delicious ravioli you can literally use anything with this recipe I don't have time to make my own ravioli so I found this at the store and tend to like this brand and it's really easy to cook it takes about three minutes so I'm gonna let that cook, and while that's boiling, I'm gonna start my brown butter sauce. I've made brown butter on my channel many times. It's super easy. Just put a stick of butter in a pan and slowly cook it down. You don't want the heat to be too high or the butter will burn, and you'll see because it turns this really beautiful nutty brown and you'll know it's ready. Once everything is cooked and ready to go, we are gonna plate our raviolis, and then we are going to be adding in the brown butter. I like how the brown butter will kind of coat the ravioli so the ravioli doesn't dry and almost separate separate your corn portion of this dish and your ravioli portion of this dish. I love this. This is what brown butter should kind of look like when it's ready to go. And we're just going to drizzle that right on top of the raviolis. Once you've got your corn and your brown butter on top of the ravioli, I like to add a little bit of fresh Parmesan cheese and some basil. You can chop the basil up any which way you want. I added it this way just because I thought it looked beautiful. If you guys saw on Instagram, I ended up adding the tomatoes to the top of this dish, um, but for this particular one, I did it on a little bowl on the side. But I think this turned out beautiful. If you guys are looking for a great light summer recipe, this is an absolute go-to, super easy to make, and you can literally make it any time of the year. I will put a link down below if you want to download the recipe and print it. Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's Decorate With Me. I cannot wait to share more summer recipes. I hope to do more decorating. In a couple of months, we will kick off fall, so definitely stick around, and please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!